Hello everyone, this is Jepna, signing in from the Discovery Center. In this video, we will investigate components of space, exploring the question, how are eclipses created? By creating our own planetary scale models, we will discover what makes eclipses possible on the Earth and beyond. The universe is in motion, from the tiniest electrons to spinning galaxies. In our solar system, the Earth orbits around the Sun, while the Moon orbits around the Earth. An eclipse occurs when the Earth or the Moon passes in front of the Sun, blocking some of its light. Solar eclipses occur at the new Moon phase, when the Moon is between the Earth and the Sun. The Moon casts a shadow on the Earth, and depending on where you are, viewers can see partial or total eclipses. Since the Sun is 400 times larger than the Moon, but is also 400 times further away than the Moon, they appear to be the same size when viewing from the Earth. In this way, even though the Moon is very small by comparison, it is able to completely block the Sun in the sky. Similarly, you can hold your thumb up to someone, and if you are far enough away, you could completely block them with your thumb. Lunar eclipses occur at the full moon phase, when the Earth is between the moon and the sun. This time, it's the Earth that casts a shadow, which falls on the moon, covering it either partially or totally. Unlike solar eclipses, during a total lunar eclipse, the moon doesn't become fully dark, instead it will look deep red. If an eclipse is just a matter of geometry and cosmic alignment, the moon or the earth uh, getting in the way of the sun's light and casting a shadow, then why don't we have a total solar and total lunar eclipse every month? Along with the fact that the orbits of the earth and the moon are elliptical, we must also consider that the moon's orbit is tilted. It's not perfectly in line with the orbit of the Earth, rather it is tilted or inclined by about five degrees with respect to it. Next to me is the Space Launch System, or SLS, a powerful rocket involved in the exploration of the Moon in the ongoing Artemis missions. A scale model is a copy or version of an object that can be larger or smaller than the actual real-life object. This model of the SLS is 144 times smaller than the actual rocket, only about 0.68 meters tall versus roughly 98 meters in real life. When describing how big celestial objects are, how they move relative to one another, and how far away objects actually are in the universe, we can use physical scale models to show those relationships. To truly wrap your head around the sheer size of celestial objects, it can be helpful to use easier to manage scales. For example, thinking about a size scale, if the sun were the size of a bus, how big would the earth be? A grapefruit. What about the moon? A grape. How could we find out how far away you would have to place the earth the Sun, and the Moon on this scale to be accurate. How can we use this information and approach to create a simple scale model of the Earth and Moon and create our own eclipses? What information do we need to gather? How do I work out the scale of my model? Let's start with size. The actual moon is about 3,475 kilometers wide. That is, its diameter is 3,475 kilometers, about the distance between Halifax and Calgary. The Earth's diameter is 12,756 kilometers. 
since the Earth and the Moon are spheres, we use diameter to describe how wide across they are. We can see that the Earth's diameter is about four times the diameter of the Moon. Or we can say that the Moon is about a quarter the size of the Earth. If we use this Moon globe as my starting point, I know that it is 12 inches or about 30 centimeters in diameter. That means that we need to find another ball that is four times wider to represent the Earth, or 48 inches, approximately 120 centimeters. That's just over the size of a one meter stick. Unfortunately, this Earth globe is only 16 inches. This won't work. Perhaps let's try another approach. We will start with looking for a model of our Earth, the larger of our objects. I need to find two balls that have a diameter ratio of one to four to be to scale. Here I have a ball of clay. It's about four centimeters. That could be the Earth. So I need something else that is four centimeters divided by four, or one centimeter to represent the moon. This pom-pom could work. So now I have my mini Earth and moon models. Now I must calculate how far away they must be to be to scale. The distance between the Earth and the moon is about 400,000 kilometers, which is about 30 times the diameter of the Earth. Using my scale model, the diameter of my Earth is four centimeters. So I have to place my Earth and Moon system about 30 times four centimeters or 120 centimeters apart. Here and here. Notice that I haven't talked about the sun in this model. If we compare the diameter of the sun to the diameter of the moon, we get a ratio of 400 to one. That is, the sun's diameter is 400 times that of the moon. In this model, that means we would need a ball about 400 centimeters, or four meters across. We would then need to place this sun model about 48,000 centimeters, or 480 meters away, as the sun is 400 times further away from the Earth than the moon. On this scale, we would have to place our sun model nearly half a kilometer away down the road. That definitely won't work. To keep things simple, I will focus on keeping the Earth and the Moon to scale only, and use a flashlight to act as our light source, and observe shadows cast on the Earth and the Moon. We could even use models like this to represent lunar phases, solar eclipses, and lunar eclipses. Now it's your turn. Choose your own planet moon system. Gather all the information you need to make a scale model of it and consider these big questions. Are eclipses possible on other planets? How can we use scale models to determine whether solar and lunar eclipses are possible on other planets? Choosing a different planet and moon system in the solar system, what would eclipses look like? How would these eclipses be similar to the Earth's? How would they be different? 